Side note here, I'm working on my posture because every time I rewatch my videos, my face looks like this <laughs> because I'm like all hunched over and like this. So if you see me work on my posture, that's why. up you guys I'm Christina Sheree if you're new welcome to my channel if you love eyeshadow palettes really love eyeshadow palettes occasional reviews but eyeshadow tutorials and some beauty stuff thrown in you're in the right place and if you're returning you know it's really always good to see you uh, you guys today it is Natasha Denona you probably saw it from the thumbnail I'm super juiced I love it when she comes out with a new palette I just love her stuff style all together so even though I love her style even though I love her palettes her brand and I'm a stan I will still be completely honest because all of her palettes aren't great most of them are but all of them are not so you know what we're talking about today eee, the Natasha Genona my dream palette this is the box I will show you the palette hold on one moment so this is a palette. This is her midi size. It's 69. It's usually 65. I think it went up either because of the times or just because there's this one shade in here. It is so pretty. Let me see if you guys can. This part right here is raised. Oh, <laughs> this part right here is raised. And it's a soft matte finish. This, my friends, is the palette. Oh, she's so pretty. Ah! Alright guys, I'm really excited to jump into a tutorial, but I do want to give you some information about this palette just real quick. This is her My Dream palette. It's all about what inspires her, it's her life. She has this thing on her Instagram stories where she talks about the shade names and what they mean to her and why she named them that way. Um, so this is a personal collection for her. Uh, so let me just give you guys some details. I'm looking down because I wrote it down for you. So it's a cool tone burgundy brown with soft coral mattes golden neutral nude shimmers and high shine metallic so this palette has 15 shades two of them are repeats and the repeat shades I'll let you know as soon as we get to those but overall it's got a nice blend of kind of a lot of everything different finishes she has six mattes one satin three metallics two cream powders two duochromes which are kind of more like toppers and one metallic chrome one multi chrome metallic um, this is just such a beautiful palette, you guys. I'm gonna dive into some swatches. I haven't even touched the palette. I got it, and I was like, I'm gonna touch it. That sounds weird. <laughs> I was like, I got it. I'm gonna wait till I sit down and film this video to actually swatch it. So, let's just jump into some swatches. Alright, you guys, so I tried to swatch these live. I don't know how YouTubers do it with the whole, it just wouldn't align. So, I'm just gonna tell you the colors. The first color you see is black is black which is a matte intense black that is a repeat shade then aspiration which is a matte dark penny brown then you have serenity which is a satin medium cool brown now this is a repeat shade I think it has a different name but it's from the star palette then carpe diem which is a matte medium dusty peach babies which is a metallic light medium rosy nude then you have Instinct, which is a cream powder matte medium fuchsia. Thrill, which is a sparkly metallic duochrome golden nude with pink shift. Then we have Unity, which is a matte medium light pink nude. Then Risk, which is a metallic medium maroon. Then Invention. This guys has a long name. Sparkling metallic duochrome tangerine with bronze and golden sparks. <laughs> then we have Vision, which is a multi-chrome metallic shifts of green, pink, and nude. And gold. <laughs> then we have Edgy, which is a cream powder matte medium dark eggplant. Then we have Spontaneous which is a metallic light pearl nude. Then Nurture, which is a matte medium cool nude. And then Familia, which is a matte medium caramel brown. I don't even know where to 
start. That palette, this palette is beautiful. I'm patting my eyes, you guys, because I just primed them. Prime them? I just primed them. I used the Fenty primer. Um, I'm going to do one look for sure. I was thinking about two, but I'm going to do one um, and then do another video later. But the first color I think I'm going to go into is Edgy. And I'll put this on the uh, screen so you guys can see what color. I'm taking a packer brush. I'm using my Morphe Ariel A29 brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this all on the lid. I'm gonna go with the kind of smoky eye, which is my usual default. Y'all, my makeup, my base is melting off. It is so flipping hot here. It's kind of ridiculous. But I'm playing with makeup and I'm excited about that. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. I like it a lot. This is such a pretty color. It's I think Edgy is her cream to powder. I'm looking over here because I wrote I can't remember them. But I think Edgy is her cream to powder. Yeah, man, this one's nice. All right, so it's packed on my lid. I'm taking a blender brush. I'm going to take a little bit more of Edgy. And I'm going to start to build this up just in the outer V. Bring it up a little bit. I like to wing it out. So I'm going to do that. Pack it on. This is pigmented, y'all. Natasha did not come to play. I'm feeling it. I love this color, you guys. It's so easy to blend. Okay, so moving on. I'm taking the color Serenity. And I'm going to place this on the lid. All over the lid. I put the first one down uh, edgy to give it a darker base. So this color could pop a little bit more. Okay, now I'm taking a blender brush. Another one, my Morphe Ariel A. 11 and I'm gonna go into the color Carpe Diem. I'm gonna take this color and blend that corner out and bring it all the way into my transition area. Just to lighten it up a little bit. Go all the way around. Such a Pretty color. I'm actually going to bring Carpe Diem down to the lower lash as well. So Carpe Diem has a lot of kick up in the pan. It doesn't bother me, but just in case it bothers you, just so you know. So I'm picking up another um, packer brush, my Morphe Ariel A29. And I want to deepen up this outer V a little bit more, so I'm going into the color Aspiration. And I'm just going to pack this right in the corner. See if that's dark enough. I'm not sure. We'll try. I may have to use black, but it seems like it may be working. Now for the lower lash, I'm taking my Refer 03 brush and I'm going into the color Instinct. And I'm going to place this all along the lower lash. Now I'm taking another blender brush and going back into Carpe Diem and just going to buff this edge out so it's not so harsh. Sorry if you can't see me guys. Okay, with that same pencil brush, I'm going into the color Aspiration and I'm just going to wrap this to mid-eye. Really close to the lashes. Now I'm taking my Refer 23 and I'm going into the color Spontaneous. I'm going to use this as an inner corner. Bring it up on the lid just a little bit in that corner. Brighten it up and I'm going to wrap it around a bit. Just a little bit. So I use that same color on my uh, as a brow bone highlight. So I'm just going to finish off this look and I'll be right back to give you my thoughts on this palette. Bye. Not bye. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Alright you guys, so I'm back. Just real quick, um, just kind of how I finished the face. I wanted to brighten this look up a little bit. I just really wanted it to be kind of fresh, slightly smoky, but not too heavy. So I brightened up the inner corner with my Makeup by Mario pencil in the color Light 1. So this color here. I use that in my waterline. And then I also tight lined underneath and up top just slightly with my uh, Pat McGrath black pencil here. For my lips, I use my Natasha Denona. I need a new 33MP in the color Noah. I think that's how you pronounce it, NOA. So this color here. And then on top of that, I just kind of packed that on so it was pretty sheer. And then on top of that, I used her I Need a Nude Rose Lip Gloss in the color Daphne. So this one here. What else did I do? Oh, so for my lashes, I use my Urban Decay Wild Lash Mascara. I love this one. It just gives you lashes right away. And then for highlighter and cheek, I use my Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. So this pretty one here. And for my cheeks, I use the color Glow Cream Base. And then for highlight, I just use Glow Impact Powder. And that's all I did to finish this look. Now my thoughts on this palette. I mean, as I'm sure you guys could pretty much tell, I really like this palette. I'm just trying to think of who this palette isn't for. Um, I will start by this. If this is your first Natasha Denona palette, this is a really good one to get because you get some purples here, you get some bronze neutrals, you get some peachy tones, uh, you get browns, you get her multi-chrome here, you get so many finishes, one, two, three, four, five, six different finishes in this palette. So this is a wonderful introduction to a Natasha Denona. And if you already have a Natasha Denona collection, you know, really great addition. Um, I will say that if you're new to Natasha Denona, these pack a punch. They're super pigmented. Just lay the color down right away. It's there. So for the darker shades, go lighter. Um, I have noticed that if I want the true color of this, whatever shade it is, I'll take a, a packer brush and pack that color on first and then blend it out and then use maybe a transition shade to go around it because you get the full impact of this palette um, or of the color. Sorry, I just looked down at my monitor and realized you guys couldn't see it. <laughs> my apologies. Um, I really love this palette. Like, I like it. I used, how many different shades did I use? Hold on, let me count. Counting is fundamental. <laughs> I used six shades out of 15. I think this is a winner. I really enjoy this palette. I'm not going to just talk your head off. Um, my first impression of this is absolutely just, just, I'm happy that I have it. Really, really happy that I have it. I'm going to do some more looks and all that great stuff on my YouTube and on my Instagram. Probably do a reel or a short or two. But for the first impression, love this palette. I'm probably going to edit out how many times I say love this palette. <laughs> what I do, it's great. It's really good. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Before you head on out, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And then if you're new and if you're returning, please just head on over to my Instagram. It's Christina Sheree. I'm trying to grow my family here and there at the same time. So I would really appreciate it if you want to and you would love to support me on both platforms. Other than that, you guys, thank you so much for giving me your time. Whatever time it is for you, morning, noon, or night, I always appreciate when you give me some of it. Have a nice, wonderful, beautiful weekend. Bye, you guys.